Hi guys, I am Trisha with Insectopia, here to talk to you about the New Zealand glowworm. This is a species of fungus gnat in the family Caroplatidae. Their species name is Arachnocampa luminosa. This may sound large and scary, but this Latin name breaks down very nicely. Arachno meaning spider web, campa meaning field or plain, and luminosa meaning that they illuminate or glow. The New Zealand glowworms are the larval stage of this gnat. They live in caves where they create webs on the ceilings that bioluminesce. When there are enough of these glowworms, the ceilings of the cave can look like a night sky with thousands of stars. Each glowworm will have a main bridge-like web and strings of web that hang from this bridge like fishing lines. These strings of web have bioluminescent droplets of acid. Small insects will fly towards the light and get stuck in the webbing. The acid will kill the prey, and when the line has a sufficient number of catches, the glowworm will consume the line of webbing, including the acid and all of the prey caught. Whether we learn this technique from flies or we came up with it ourselves, fishermen use the same kind of tactic, although they do not use bioluminescence. They just bait with worms. There is a fishing technique where they will have a main line, and from this line will drop multiple lines with hooks at intervals. Look familiar? Insects had it figured out first. The glowworm is also bioluminescent. These larvae will glow brighter as they get hungrier. After 6 to 12 months, they will pupate. They pupate hanging from a string of web. As pupae, they are very limited in their movement although they can flick their tail if they are disturbed. They emerge up out of the top of the pupae, and that will put more weight on the top. They will go through a horizontal position until they are upside down, and will use gravity to help them fully emerge. Both the pupae and the adults use bioluminescence. There is a debate as to whether these adult flies are attracted to each other by pheromones or by their bioluminescence. No matter how they find each other, they will mate and lay eggs. These flies have been observed mating for over 12 hours. The adults only live for a couple of days, and they do not eat in that time period. If they only live for 3 days, and they mate for 12 hours, they have spent almost 20% of their adult life mating. This is what the life cycle of a New Zealand glowworm looks like in real life. Here are a couple of pictures of what their webs look like on the ceilings of caves in New Zealand. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions about New Zealand glowworms or a thought on what it would be like to be able to glow, let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I will be posting videos frequently. Come and check out our next video on the spiny leaf insect.